doing great. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm glad we can be a bit an hour early because I I tend to get up early and fade late. Fade fade. <laughs> yeah, you said you okay. You said you're a little. Je- How was your trip? It was great. I mean, it was it was. Uh, it seemed long when, when we were there, but uh, now we're back. It seems it's, like it yeah. whiz, whizzed by. Um, yeah. I mean, basically, it was fine. I mean, uh, one, of the, one of the things about art fairs is they're pretty much, if you're doing them, they're pretty much the same anywhere in the world because you go for seven days, four of those days you're spending, you know, from 10 till 8 o'clock in a convention center yeah and so you're not really visiting you know right the country although yeah. victoria did get out her friends took her out and about she saw you know she had a kind of more of a korean uh 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 experience than yeah. i did although we had some we had some very nice meals and yeah we had, we had yeah, some no definitely I, nice people. and you wh- when was the last time you were there oh 25 years ago yeah and so and were you where were you in the same place did you get it sent to no the- because 25 years ago when i the last time i was there i was working for christie's and just taking paintings to show in a hotel so right. this is actually the first time there's been a big art fair yeah there, yeah, yeah, yeah. big international one so it was it was kind of new new for everybody and although you, yeah the people people who Koreans who realized I'd been there 25 years ago were very anxious to, uh, you know, to, to hear what I thought had changed. Right. Um, and I mean, it had. It, it, sure. It, it, yeah. It was cleaner. People were more prosperous. Cars were newer. I mean, it definitely, yeah. definitely changed. But also, the, the, um, in those days, there was a very small number of very secretive wealthy people who bought works of art. Now there's a whole generation of, I guess, uh, pretty wealthy, relatively wealthy young people sure. who who are very Western in their approach. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I mean, super Western in their approach. And how did you feel the art fair was received there and what have do you know what kind of kind of press it's gotten in or how, how did it we feel like got, it went yeah overall it got, you show me that clip it looked great yeah well yeah the i mean <laughs> we we intentionally took some very important and expensive paintings not necessarily i mean obviously we would have loved to sell them but to get attention yeah and 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 we did. I mean, we got huge press. I mean, um, huge local press. Um, I did quite a lot of of on the spot video interviews sure. with various you know publications. Our booth was probably more crowded than almost any other one because we had Warhol and Picasso yeah. and Basquiat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I had brought intentionally for for that reason. Um, what was what and and lots of people um we'd also yeah and we brought matisse and and mm-hmm. picasso and and lots of people said thank you very much for bringing these to korea because they don't really have those kinds of western paintings in their museums yeah yeah yeah, yeah. great korean works of art in museums sure. both contemporary and ancient and great museums but they don't have that they don't get to see those kinds of paintings. So people would genuinely thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing these paintings. That that was very gratifying. Um, the what happens usually is the first two days of an art fair are kind of quote VIP days where yeah. people that we have we know or we try to give passes to come. And hopefully that's when we're going to get some interest from collectors and museum folks. And then the second two days are where the, anybody who can, wants to pay $25 or $20 to yeah. get a ticket in. And those days, I mean, that was all very, very crowded, but the public sure. days were absolutely mobbed. I mean, yeah. we, we had to, we had to um, in a, um, get emergency stanchions so that huh. we could uh, 
I mean, people were pretty polite, but they, you know, they, they, they had bags and they had umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so, it, what was what was also interesting to me was that the uh, apropos of branding, I mean, they're very much keen on on seeing what they know or what they've heard about, sure, uh, rather than discovering something that that they don't know yeah and i think that was mirrored by the fact that so many people um were wearing or carrying brand name yes. clothing and accessories i mean yeah yeah I've noticed more than i've noticed anywhere else you huh. know, yeah okay China, japan i mean yeah. Really, yeah. whether it's a sneakers or that or or uh, Adidas or Chanel or, or or Gucci. I mean, it's it it, yeah. it works. I mean, sure, no, sure, but no, I mean, there's there's a theory about how K-pop, K-dramas, all of that has led to this sort of culture of style, culture of um, yeah. Well, that that cooking of K-pop, <laughs> of course. RM came, the, and and he was at the yeah, but I he didn't he came to the booth next to us and was photographed there. <laughs> I didn't actually see him because uh -huh. until he'd come and gone. Yeah, I think our booth was too crowded because uh, yeah, yeah, he he was I mean he was apparently he was wearing a hat he was just chatting around. Uh huh. I also didn't notice the prime minister who apparently did come. Huh. Yeah. And so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but you're right that that um, there was uh, a, a kind of a fairly hip new museum, which was part of the Samsung Group. Um, they, they had a they had an afternoon opening uh, the day before the fair, which was fairly sedate. But then they had a party, a late night party one evening that I didn't go to. That, that some of our younger colleagues went sure, to sure, sure. And that was all that was k-pop that was i mean movie yeah, yeah, yeah. stars it was a whole thing and that was that was def that was a museum having a party for the art fair which is you know unusually collegial but it but i mean it was a big deal for yeah. for, for korea so for seoul anyway for and, sure. and yeah you're right that that um that was very much in the air yeah. That, that kind of. I mean, there were and there were guys who were. I thought they were, but they were just dressed like they wanted to be. Sure. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah. Um. And how was? Uh, and no. Okay. Well, where, where where was the best food? What was the best food you had? Um. Well, actually, the the uh, I had I had hired for this a very nice lady who I'd worked with at Christie's um years ago, who's now. Uh, independent dealer and so she's korean her family lives there and uh but she she spent most of her time in new york so she agreed to help us and she took victoria and me to lunch i think the day after we arrived to a new restaurant everybody said very difficult to get into very plain very simple and we had we had 12 courses but each one was about this size <laughs> it was wonderful i mean it was beautifully served beautifully prepared very tasty um and that was probably that that was that was certainly the best meal we we'd had a i had a uh organized a meal for for the staff a kind of uh -huh. staff meal at the hotel at a restaurant which was supposed to be you know, top, top restaurant. It was in our hotel. And frankly, the presentation was fantastic, but the food at the end of the day wasn't that great. Right. So, yeah. I mean, that's... So I think we lucked out with one meal. Um, uh, I'm sure there were lots of places, kind of hole in the wall places that we could have made it to. Yeah. But, but, we just didn't have we didn't have time you know uh, victoria's had friends who took her way out in the country to a family a family house and the lady was teaching her how they made kimchi and stuff like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
yeah. there, she had more of a she's she saw people in their homes yeah. you know I, nice. I, I, no that's nice yeah very very nice yeah, yeah. Um, so, so yeah i mean yeah. i, I it, all in all it was a good experience i i think for the gallery too we sold some less expensive things and you may sell you know these things sometimes you have people who come in and they're serious but they make a very low offer and then they go away and then sometimes they come back we come right back right right but but i think we we certainly achieved we certainly made a dent yes and i had had I'd had, I'd, I had had a brochure made in Korean and English just about the history of the gallery and exhibition sure. so that people could, and they just, I mean, that those, we had 400 of them and they disappeared. Yeah, very yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that, that was, that, that went okay. We were, we were also lucky coming home because there was a typhoon, which is quite rare. Yeah. Was, which actually didn't quite hit the inland. So sure. uh, we came back on the Tuesday and it was fine. How was how was the travel both ways? How how overall? It was, it was not bad. We traveled on Korean Air. It was a direct flight. We slept both ways. You know, we 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 slept both ways. The biggest, I think, the biggest issue was getting out, getting our bags at Kennedy because that was a complete. You know, like I don't know, hundreds of flights arriving at yeah, the same yeah, yeah, oh yeah, insane. Yeah, but but no, but that you know, we got home and everything and everything was fine. So, so yeah, I I also I must say though that I physically I was I was kind of sitting at the desk on the last day, or the last hours of the last day. <laughs> and total strangers were telling me I looked tired. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, and I was, and my legs were, my sure. legs, you know, I mean, I'm standing a lot and walking and yeah. my head was okay, but, sure, but other, yeah. other parts of my legs were just, you know, yeah. but, uh, but no, it was, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of glad. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad it's over. Right on. Uh, uh, I'm glad we we we're doing an art fair in Paris in two or three weeks, and I'm glad I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Uh, so so, what have you been up to? In, uh, um, I same old same old, just work and and you know same old same old. Um, I have an activism event in a little bit. Um, wait, wait, so when did you get back? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah Tuesday. Uh, afternoon. Yeah. Um, I've been a bit disorient. I mean, I've been working, but I've been. Sure. No, sure. Um, no, I wanted to ask you. Okay. So Barack Obama and Michelle Obama's official portrait was yeah. unveiled. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Just, yeah. I, I, I saw them. I mean, I saw pictures of them. I, 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 I thought that the, her, her was, there was a, there's a, an artist called Amy Sherrill who's done a portrait of Michelle Obama that was quite, quite well received, but I thought that was, it wasn't the official one. I didn't, yeah. I didn't recognize the artist who did the official ones. But. And then what, what I swore when Obama was in office, didn't Kendidi Wiley do what, what, like, to me, that's the official one. Like they, they did a portrait of both of them. Yeah. But those were not official. Those are not official. Yeah. I get, yeah. I, I don't know. They can, you know, like, like, like Freud did a portrait of the queen. It's not yeah. official, but it's like, yeah. Yeah, people yeah. like it, you know, so, so you can do a portrait. I mean, if they, if they let, I mean, yes. If they sit for you, then yes. it's yeah, yeah. But it does. I th the official one has to be. It's I a process. It has, and has to have a process of choosing an artist yeah, yeah, and yeah. da 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 da. And I don't think that I don't think necessarily they have choice in a big big choice in the matter. I mean, uh, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 
so, um, so, I mean, the queen, should we, I mean, are we? Charles, Charles, Charles. Well, yeah. Yeah. God bless the king. I mean, I guess. I do. Yeah. 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 It just, I just, you know, I can't get over the fact that very, uh, some of the first issues of Mad Magazine that I, that I ever put my hands on had, had I, I mean, and this was horrifying to the British people. Had cartoons of the British royal family with, with, with uh, Prince Charles as um, Alfred E. Newman. You know. <laughs> yes. No. I can picture it. I, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Alfred E. Newman. Okay. Know. So I can remember Saturday Night Live, where Prince Charles literally, as a tampon, because it had <laughs> been leaked, he had said. He wanted to be. I know. She I is know. now the queen. She is now the queen. Well, she's the queen consort. She's the queen consort. Yeah. <laughs> but he, and they're both being reminded of this. Oh yeah, but no, but that is actually only because Queen Elizabeth granted her. I mean, you know, something in February, and probably you know, knowing all of this coming on, she made a choice about. I mean, Camilla Parker Bowles could have been the princess consort. So she, I mean. She got she got a title. She I mean, yeah, she, she I, hung it, in there. She hung it's in. Kind of amazing, but the point is that we we sold a very big portrait that Lucian Freud did yeah. of her ex husband. Yes, yeah, yeah. Who is Colonel Parker Bowles? Uh, a full length portrait of him, and he's wearing his military uniform, but unlike standard portraits of people wearing military uniforms he's he's lying back in an armchair and it's all open at the neck like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's half drunk actually <laughs> but but she, yeah i mean she she comes from a fancier background actually yes. than diana yeah yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah so if she hadn't been married before and Charles had been married to Diana. She would have been a perfect. Oh yeah, no, I no no no. I, I, yeah, she would yeah, have been yeah. cut from the right cloth, according to the Queen. Right. But yeah. So, but now of course that the, all the attention is on Meghan, you know, because because Harry and Meghan are going to be at the funeral, and and uh, will the brothers talk to each other? Sure. And, I yeah. I mean I. Will this bring them together? Sure. No, sure. Sure, sure, sure. The Daily Mirror or the New York Post or, <laughs> you know, people who have no interest. Oh, says the Daily Mirror and the New York Post, who are the ones who published the divisive articles that, that. Of course. And yeah. then they go into mourning when she dies, you know, because yeah, yeah. I sell more newspapers. But and then... No, yeah. I mean, the one comment I saw was, <laughs> was, why is Irish and Scottish Twitter filled with Americans asking why we're not mourning? Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I think I think this is definitely well. Yeah, the English the English are mourning. Yes. The English over thirty five are mourning. Yeah. Yeah, 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 over sixty-five are devastated. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Younger people, I, I think they genuinely. There's no, there's not a big, there's not a big connection there. I mean, yeah. there's, there's, yeah, yeah. um. I mean, it might be different. It might be different when and if. William becomes king. Yeah. 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 And he's like groovier about it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Well, but here's, is not very well no, but here's an interesting thing. Um, so Charles for a long time has been all about climate change. And I think in his pivot to now King, there's this sort of, um, you know, like commitment to not a, a political and being apolitical. And so I think, it, I think, well, should William ascend or whoever, anyway, there's something about the position that I kind of, uh, not but well bars you from being too i mean yeah. they all have their causes as princes and as but 
yeah, I don't know. I, some, there's something in there. He, yeah, as he had a prince's trust, which could yeah. lead towards charities. Yes. And he hated modern architecture, but he was very pro climate change. So, huh. so you know, he, yeah, he could, in that sense, he could be political yeah. or, or not, he could be, he could have a position on a social issue, right? Or a geo social yeah. issue. As King, I, I, I think he still can actually. I, I, Huh. Yeah, yeah. Look, the if the queen could spend half her life with, on you know going to horse races and polo <laughs> games and things like that, he he could certainly. It doesn't mean he has to go to a, a rally, but he can certainly put yeah. some energy. I think he can. Put yeah, yeah. I mean, that. I will say no. So yeah, <laughs> polo mat. The, the queen's and you said uh, speaking of umbrellas, the queen's accessory game was on point. Her hats, her gloves, her she could definitely accessorize. Um, I I wonder what will happen with the Commonwealth if there will be, you know, I mean there because I mean I mean one legitimate criticism is that you know like it, it the history of colonialism isn't well it's not history. I mean the queen actively fought against there were attempts to at independence that she actively fought and that's you know that's legitimate we'll see what charles does and where that where charles lands with that i yeah i i don't know i i i think that the ingrained unapologetic racism of certainly the duke of edinburgh yeah uh I don't think Charles has it that bad, but I don't think he has, I don't think he really understands diversity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can absolutely, I can believe if, I, I don't know if Megan is smart or not, but assuming she's smart, I don't think people address racist comments to her. Right. The, at Buckingham Palace, but I'm sure that she picked up yeah. a vibe. Oh yeah. Oh. Maybe not from the immediate royal family, but from the crowd around them. Yes. That that was very distasteful to her, you know. Um, yeah. Because they're not. I mean, I don't. I don't know about William. They're not that smart. They're just not. Well, I mean, to the fundamental thing that my experience. I mean. It, and I don't know, and you know, Mel has lived there for 20 years, very different experience yeah. from my own. But my experience is there's this, it's, it's to me, I mean, I, I grew up with this in New, in New York in the 90s. There's this idea of colorblindness that's just false. That's just that, you know, we're all the same. We're past racism, so we're not going to talk about it. If you start talking about it, we don't want to hear about it it's over so so it's done it's done yeah. we're done with it so be, yes. be done stop was, then then you say it was never here like it's i mean that, well that, i mean that's also oh, the, the yeah, so, yeah. So we, we've got we've got there right we've got there look yeah i mean i yeah and i have no i mean so and so is the mayor so and so is the mayor so and so yeah no oprah's so, rich so yes. therefore <laughs> um no but i okay so Okay, but then okay, the most important what's gonna happen to the corgis? What's gonna happen? <laughs> you know? Well that we've had I've been delving into that a, a lot. Um what was interesting was um that there there is a short video, I think it was on YouTube, which has a genealogy, all of the corgis descend <laughs> from no, the first one she was given when she. Oh, was I like, know, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not. I'm laughing, yeah, but that this one, is real. That oh. one apparently had a virgin birth because there's no, there's no Mr. Corgi. Yeah, there's, yeah, 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 There's yeah. no husband. <laughs> They're all descended from Minnie or whatever her name was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how? How? I don't know. I, Maybe they have a special royal insemination or something. <laughs> Well, they do it with horses, I guess they do it. So, and then the swans, yeah. I guess, I guess Charles inherits all the swans. They get put to sleep when she's on her, at the day of her funeral. Oh, right? oh, and put in her tomb like the Egyptian with the, oh. 
<laughs> I hope not. I hope no. Oh no, no, no. They'll they'll be they'll be well looked up. They'll be look. Can you imagine the number of people who want to buy buy? Oh, one? oh no. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They could auction them off for climate change. I'm sure there will be a robust, robust uh uh, uh counterfeit cor queen corgi de yeah. dealership for That's years. Really people will be buying fake descendants yeah. of oh no this puppy came yeah, straight it's an from illegitimate a child of the queen's last corgi yeah uh, I, well yeah i mean between that and 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 liz truss uh three day or four days in yeah um, who 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 as a student said the monarchy should be abolished right yeah yeah, yeah. But you know, I guess when when somebody's waving the prime ministership in front of you, you might want to change your mind. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there's the, there's all. I mean, at 20 years old, I didn't vote, and uh, you know, uh, okay, I understand it. That's understandable. She didn't say it yesterday, but I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, Morris yeah. probably said it yesterday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then yeah. was happy to kneel in front of the queen and. Uh, but he'll get he'll get knighted, you see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Charles will have to knight him because if you're prime minister, you get knight. Except Tony Blair was not knighted right until the Duke of Edinburgh died. Oh, interesting. Okay. Why? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they had the royal yeah. yacht for many years. There's a huge yacht called the Britannia. Right. right? And the taxpayers paid for it. Yes. And Prince Philip was a sailor. I mean, he had been yeah, in the Navy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this was his pride and joy. And Tony Blair, when he was prime minister, made them give it up. Right. Yeah. Oh, serious. Yeah, and no, so, I remember. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, he, he wasn't was, to get a knighthood while the Duke of Edinburgh was alive. For sure. Um, Talk about being vindictive. But. <laughs> but I mean, well, if you can, if you have the, yeah. Um, all right, this is, okay, the Pennsylvania governor's candidate, Doug Mastriano. Do you know about this controversy over his PhD? He went to UNB. He went to the University of New Brunswick. What? No. <laughs> this, is, this is also a guy who is pictured in a Confederate uniform yeah, no, I mean, this, he's running for governor. He was at January 6th. I mean, he, he wasn't, he didn't break into the Capitol. I know who you're talking about. I didn't know he went to UNB. So there's this controversy now that UNB has been drawn into because his, his PhD, which is in history, basically is made up. Part of it is all based on this photograph, which he claimed over the years may have been this individual person, then pretty certain it was this person by the time it was in the phd he's identified so this is a i mean this is a doctoral you know this has to go before a review board and whatnot he's claiming this picture from 1917 is this individual with no evidence and now unb has to kind of say well i mean the people aren't there anymore one of the person one of the people who was on the committee said i pointed this out and was removed from the committee the person who headed the committee it has retired and has no comment. I, I don't know. I just think well, it's. Did, it, did he attend UNB? Well, he. You know, I mean, I, I don't know how doctoral studies work. You don't necessarily have to go there. I mean, you can submit. I mean, you, you have to have a supervisor. Yeah, you have a supervisor. You get you get it reviewed. It was reviewed and approved, and so now they're having to sort of say why did why did they. So far, this, the university has stood by it. This is just interesting to me because it's, I mean, you don't hear UNB oh, in the, the news. There's a record often. that he did get a PhD. At well, UN. yeah. That's not, I mean, that's not disputed. They, he got the PhD. American history or Canadian history? It's or? American history. It's this, it's this I, yeah, I, the details, some general in an art, it's military history, but I oh, don't. Oh, I see, military. I'm surprised they, ha yeah, okay. Maybe. I, I don't know. It's just, yeah, that's interesting. Um, is he, okay. he when, is he going to become governor? I mean, is he? A, I mean, I. I mean, isn't he one of these Trumpers that probably will? He got the primary, but he's going to have. 
Well, the interesting thing is a lot of them are pivoting. So there's this one in, in our state. I don't think she's going to – so she's running against Patty Murray, who I personally love and – I don't think confirmed for the event I'm going to, but I'm going to a political event where a bunch of people are going to be. But yeah, no, this woman, Tiffany Smiley, you may have heard of her because regardless of whether she wins, she, she's got, well, she looks like a Fox News host. She's got a blonde Look, helmet yeah, head. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, she's going to, she's going to go far in the, she might end up a vice yeah. presidential candidate. She might end up yeah, anything. Republican, arch Republican women with a, yeah. But she's also one of those people who's very good at, during the, the primary, she was 100% pro-life, and now she's saying, well, I would carve out, you know, she, you know she'll pick. Yeah, she'll, she's yeah. navigating, right? And people, I don't understand how you can watch someone do a pivot like that, that cynically, like literally the day, literally the day after a primary, start scrubbing things off of their website and not see that, I mean, it's archived. It's, it's you know, you can see it. Like, people don't care. People don't care. She looks, she doesn't, she, they, they don't care. So I don't know. Um, yeah. Aretha Franklin's FBI file was unsealed. Not surprisingly, they were, they were following her for some period because of her civil rights activities. I mean, I guess that's probably not surprising or that would have been J. Edgar Hoover right I mean that would have gone well after him he I mean he was following but it was but it was still that era I mean it was they, they were still it was still that yeah they were trying to get Martin Luther King they were bugging his hotel room I mean it's to me it's wild that I mean because people talk you know when you think about all how all the cross-section of conspiracy theories I grew up I literally grew up anarchist and very suspicious of the FBI, suspicious of Contel Pro, where they were planting. We, we were convinced they were planting agents at at protest, counter protest to to to. Um, and now, very much to me, the FBI are the good guys. The FBI are they're the ones who are. I mean, if, if there if, if there are any police, they're the ones who are investigating white nationalism. They are the ones who are putting out reports saying this is the real thing we should be focusing on. No one's listening, and now the right wing and Trump is saying. Deep state. I'm suspicious of them. Don't trust the FBI. And I'm oh. like, hmm, interesting. Yeah, interesting. I, I mean, yeah. it is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so the Lincoln Project, which is that the, they're Republicans, but they're anti-Trump Republicans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they they ran an ad designed to get to designed to get a rise out of Trump, and it did. They ran it only in Bedminster, New Jersey, and it basically. Um, I don't, I don't remember what it said. Anyway, he said he was going to sue them, and they were like, fine, sue. I, yeah, I mean, it's, they, they did, it's, yeah. it's, it, everything they said is true, and so, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, but, I mean, regardless, even if he goes to jail, he'll still keep raising money. Packs in his name, his picture will, st I mean, people don't care, I don't know, I don't, <laughs> um, I don't know, I think there are enough people out there who, who bang in 10 bucks every time he asks them to, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I think the people, I think I'm convinced most of them can't afford it. I mean, they, or they, you know, they're, well, maybe they I mean, can there are, I think there are a lot of people who can't afford it, who are probably right now complaining about Joe Biden's inflation while sending, yeah. they probably yeah. don't even know. They probably, it's probably being removed from their accounts because you sign up once. Uh, anyway, anyway, I mean, it's, yeah. Not that the Democrat, again, I talk about it because I get those, the Democrats' emails them. are just as bad. I mean, <laughs> I get, I, I do stop, stop, stop every day on yeah. my yeah, yeah, yeah. text messages. Yeah I, get, yeah. I get them from people I don't know. I don't know where they're running. I've never heard their names. Yeah. And they're telling me that the time, time is running out. And if I don't give them $15, you right. know, they'll yeah. die. Right? It's, everything is urgent. Everything is, everything yeah, is, yeah. So urgent, right? I'd like to get one saying, "Listen, think about this in your own time, and you might." <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No, <laughs> think about this for a couple of weeks, and then. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Paul Allen's collection is being sold. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You never yeah. did business with him. I mean, you never. I, I did. I did. Okay. I did. I did when I was at Christie's. Mm. Um. 
when I was at Christie's, he was he was a client. Okay. And, yeah. And I had one very strange exp direct experience because his um, advisor at that time uh, was a woman I knew quite well. Her mother had been a dealer, and um, I can't remember her name. She actually also adopted a Chinese. Uh, baby huh. about the same time anyway that's that's beside the point yeah she, yeah, yeah. Isa and and I would talk to her about things and and she came in with him once to the to look at things on the wall and and she said um don't come up to us unless I okay. I signal you because okay. he's very I don't know if she didn't, didn't use the word shy but yeah no yeah yeah, yeah. and then they were going around and and she kind of said you know come over and i went i went over towards him and he and he abruptly turned away yeah 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 i mean i wasn't really offended because i you know look i don't care if he needs to talk to me or not all i care about is if he buys yeah. it so okay there are a number of celebrities who are known to be rude and there's a there's a long list there's yeah. a short list there are stories um there are lots of the stories involve well lots of the stories involve people when they're not on when they're not being interviewed yeah, at a red yeah. carpet or at their job and i i really i understand like you recognize what? like they're having dinner with a friend yeah and i and i recognize their right to if you you may think that's rude but they're they're not you don't own them just because you recognize them and that's to me that's very real the other thing is within the industry, you hear lots of stories about people in eye contact. You know, I worked with them, but I'm not allowed to make eye contact. I've heard this about Ellen, I've heard this. And I wonder, again, I think for someone who has to be on all the time, for someone who has to make eye contact with a camera, who has to be interviewed, who has to smile and be on all the time, when they're backstage or what have you, I wonder if it's not, they're not, well, it, what is perceived as rude is, a social anxiety, a social, a, uh, you know, a, a, yeah. a, not a ability, an ability, but go ahead. It's energy. It, you're taking energy yeah. when you make eye contact. I mean, it's. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. 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 I, so I didn't feel, I didn't feel, you know, I, I felt that was fine, but, but then he, he was buying such different types of things. I, I didn't understand. I didn't, I wanted to know what his taste was. Yeah. So I actually um, I, I I I I got in contact with uh, there was a guy who was like he was very very young but he was like running his whole business at that yeah. time and and I said I wanted to come out and see his collection and this guy said well most of it's in a warehouse or something but yeah. I didn't come and visit so hoping to meet him or whatever I flew out. Uh, and and I actually went. I was taken around Microsoft. Yeah. There was the only things that pe people had posters of move. The guys working there, even the ones making lots of money, had posters of like um, you know movie posters. Yeah. That, yeah. That, oh no, and that's still to this day. <clears throat> yeah. So so and and this guy was very nice, but he couldn't really explain to me what Paul Allen's taste was because in fact his taste was 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 imp i would say impulsive i don't mean that pejoratively but, yeah uh and he wasn't following any any pattern he saw something he liked it he could buy it and then later when i know somebody who spent a little bit of time who is friendly with an ex-girlfriend of his and spent some time on on his boat said he was he was painfully